Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Eaton with the Dubitrin Foundation. I recently went to the annual meeting of the American Society for Surgery of the Hand to interview hand surgeons about Dupuytren disease. I asked each of the surgeons a similar set of questions. Here are the answers to the following question. What's your battle plan if you develop Dupuytren disease? I would use a lot of massage. I would use a lot of vitamin E cream, things like that in the early stages. When it got to the point that it was functionally disabling, I would have a needle upon your otomy by one of the surgeons I've trained. <laughs> I think if I have a nodule, um, and if I had unlimited resources, I would probably um, treat that with collagenase, Cyaflex early on. Mm -hmm. And I think if I had an early cord, even if I didn't have a contracture, I would probably treat that aggressively. Well, it would depend on the uh, location and severity, but I would probably opt first for needle aponeurotomy. I would be acting before I got trouble, I was experiencing trouble putting gloves on. I would have regular measurements so it wouldn't creep up on me, so I'd have a tangible track record of where I've been and where I'm going. I would have early intervention. I would, uh, I would be, the moment I lost passive hyperextension of the MP joints, I'd have needle aponeurectomies. I'd be trying steroid because I know it works in the inflammatory phase in the nodules and I'd understand that this is a progressive disorder and I'd be checking my feet and other parts and hoping for the best. <laughs> well that sounds good. So you'd really try for the preventative aspect of it even though that's that's uh, kind of uncharted waters. Early intervention because I believe the, the later you tackle it when you get contractures the worse the outcome the more complex it is. With but secondary I'll, anatomy. I would be measuring them regularly so that you, me, I'd have my response measured, and if it didn't work, I wouldn't go back there, I'd try something different. I do know from experience not to let it go too long. Uh, I would probably just keep an eye on it till it got to the point where I felt it was, uh, that I would have an optimal outcome. Uh, probably starting with the enzyme uh, injection, I think that uh, that is a valuable tool, um, but it may be that I'm much more advanced by then, or maybe there's a new development by then that I might be able to do something different. I'm a practitioner of the needle upon your automy technique. You know, so at the nodule stage, I'll do what I, I recommend for patients, which is just nothing. You know, okay. just, just keep an eye on it and relax about it. Um, if I start developing a contracture, I, you know, I'll probably wait to treat until I get um, to a point where I'm worried about secondary changes, if it's at the PIP joint, mm -hmm. um, or it starts interfering with my functional ability. Uh -huh. um, and I'd probably at this point go with an enzymatic procedure. Uh, I tend to ignore anything that's wrong with me. A lot of surgeons do. Persevere. Uh, if I developed a contracture that was limiting to me, if I was a candidate for an NA procedure, that's what I would do. My battle plan would be to not treat it until it caused a functional problem. In the beginning, I would either opt for uh, injecting the cord with Cyaflex or having a needle aponeurotomy. Yeah. For the beginning, you know, let's start with the, with the with soft the, things, you know, the, so. Minimally invasive. <laughs> minimally invasive, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, think that's the, I think that's the biggest change that's, mm -hmm. that's happened in the last uh, 10, 15 years is the, the change from wait, 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 big operation mm -hmm. to uh, intervening a little earlier with, with minimally invasive mm -hmm. approaches. And I Either uh, your needle aponeurotomy or a Zyaflex. Um, I, would, I would have collagenase. Uh -huh. And without any question, I would only do something minimally invasive, like needle aponeurotomy or possibly Zyaflex. Try to consider a minimally invasive procedure, such as the um, needle aponeurotomy or collagenase injection. Watch things until it became functionally limiting. And then my, my personal bias is the needle aponeurotomy procedure. I would watch a nodule. What about a contractor that is bad enough that you're having trouble getting your gloves on. I would have most likely a needle aponeurotomy unless it was in a finger which scares me still doing them. Okay, so you had a contracture in your thumb or... Or if it uh, was in the PIP out to DIP, I'd be yeah. very nervous. I think that I will then watch it very closely, see where it's going. Eyeball therapy. Absolutely, and then um, if treatment um, is something that uh, is absolutely necessary. I think that I will go for something that is least invasive. If it inter interferes with the use of my hand, uh, I'm 
going to have something done, and most likely it would be a form of needle aponeurotomy. I would see myself for a needle aponeurotomy. Okay, well, then that, that would keep it simple. Well, I hope you like that. Don't forget to subscribe to the Dubitrin Foundation YouTube channel. Check out our website at dubitrins.org and sign up for our newsletter to follow progress toward finding a cure for Dubitrin disease. Thanks.